Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Today we're looking at something a little bit different. This is a small plastic box with a couple little things happening on there. Got an indicator light and a toggle switch. Now what could this be? Well, there's a very small ozone generator I made the other night just sitting on the couch screwing around. I already have it kind of taken apart a little bit. So I just glued a fan in there and we have air in, air out, and the ozone plate. So the problem today is this little transformer in here. It was working just fine during the poking around and testing of this thing, but then I put it all together and uh, gave it a try to see how much ozone it really did uh, produce sort of thing in the room. And uh, it was stinking like burnt electronics pretty bad, and it turned out to be this transformer here, this high voltage sort of uh, it goes from 12 volts to I don't know how many volts stepped up quite a bit it's almost like a little neon sign transformer designed to drive this little plate here now after scratching my head for a while trying to figure out what I did wrong in this project I finally traced it back to these stupid little power supplies now everybody has a whole bucket or a drawer full of these things they are just very common and the little plug that uh, goes into the device is usually very common as well and that's a very scary thing because these are obviously a little different these ones although this one does not say it on there puts out an alternating current when this project needed a direct current now I know I remember fixing a lot of my grandmother's Halloween decorations and she had the uh, power supplies capacitors all explode and this is probably what happened was uh, using the wrong power supply when the thing needed a direct current and just using anything that fit. And you see the magic smoke pour out as I did with this. So I just heated up an old soldering iron and got this old gooey mess out of there. Now if you ever want to do a project and use glue I recommend not using so damn much. I unloaded like a whole pack in this thing just for fun. Here's what it says on there. 12 volt DC, that's my problem. I was using AC 12 volts, 450 milliamp, 6 watts. Now, I'm going to plug this into 120 volts AC and see what happens, but I really don't want to do it in my workshop here. There's a lot of stuff that gets uh, gross smelling, you know, when I do that kind of stuff. So, I gotta think of, you know what, the fireplace. I wonder if this thing will light a fire. All right, so I have the ozone generator set up right on top of all this kindling and uh, little bits of paper and stuff. See the plate? That might do something fun. Now that's just going, whoa. Very simple experiment today. Let's see if we can light the fire with this high voltage transformer for the ozone generator. All right, I'm stepping back and closing the door as much as I can before the camera gets blocked. Cool. Here we go. Oh! Awesome. Looks like we have results. <laughs> Definitely have some results. So you can buy these things on eBay and just light your fires with them. Very nice. 